Okay, well, I'll just try to reboot the um, Raspberry Pi and it hung, unfortunately, um, just after the initial boot screen. Um, I've had a quick look at it and I think it turns out to be a problem with the kernel image. When I was testing, I was actually using the default name of kernel8.image um, and I had read somewhere that you can change the name if you rename it. I think it was on the Raspberry Pi website that if you change the name, you just need to specify it in the, the new name in the config.txt and um, that doesn't seem to be the case. So what I've done is I've rebooted into the original Pi image off the SD card. Uh, I've come root again. So what I need to do is to mount the boot partition, which is dev sda one somewhere. So I'll just put it on mount, go to mount, edit the config.txt and I just need to take off this Gen 2 bit that I had here, save that and then I just need to rename the actual file to kernel8.img and that should be that resolved. Um, one other thing I did forget to do was in the um, FS tab, so I'll have to unmount this and remount or mount the root partition, which is dev sda3 into mount cd4 slash mount. Um, I think I haven't checked it yet, but I think I had a setting wrong. For, yes, the boot partition I've got as ext4. Um, it should of course be vfat because that's how it's formatted. So that's something else I should have changed. So I'll just change that now to vfat in case that caused or would would have caused any problems if it had got that far. So I'll just unmount. that partition and now I should be good to have another go at um, booting from the hard disk. So I'm just going to shut this down again as I did before, check the SD card and now I'm going to power it on again and hopefully it will boot this time. And yes, indeed it is. This time it's booting correctly. So here we go. You can see there's some warnings about clock skew for the time, but as I say, that's not a problem. When we get in there, it will um, have the correct time. So SSH has just run for the first time. It's created some new host keys and you can see it's booted and indeed there is the time it's printed up. It's just gone five o'clock. So if first of all I log in as um, root just to check that works, most important count of all. Yep, that's fine. If I do date, you can see the time so the NTP has worked correctly, which is just what we want. Um, so yeah, that shows that we've now got a Gen 2 system up and running. Um, nothing in the root directory. Um, Fdisk minus L will show us um, these RAM disks here. Um, are obviously something to do with the Raspberry Pi. They're nothing to do with Gen 2, so it's obviously some way that the Raspberry Pi has booted in its unusual way, but you can see the SDA, the one and a half terabyte drive I've got, it's uh, all there. You name minus A, we can see the Linux name there with the host name, the kernel version number, um, and we are indeed in 64 bit mode and GNU Linux there. So I think that shows that we've definitely built our own Gen 2 system.